These are our renegade rows. For a renegade row, we're gonna need a pair of dumbbells. And I've, I've been in gyms, I've worked in gyms where the dumbbells were round um, or they were almost round. Maybe they were like 10 sided or something and they would roll really easily. If you are in a position that that is what you have access to, circular dumbbells will make this really challenging. Um, I'll actually encourage you to take a slightly different variation where you're just doing all the reps on one side with the other hand on the ground. Um, if you have dumbbells that do have sides, but it has a lot of sides, so it's almost circular, just go slow and be careful so that the dumbbell doesn't go rolling out from underneath you. It is an interesting stability challenge, uh, but if you are newer to strength training, it's one that actually is just not worth the risk. Um, this kind of a dumbbell, these are six-sided. Each side's pretty solid. Um, that, that dumbbell is not gonna roll out from underneath Janelle. So here's what Janelle's gonna do. She'll come into plank with one hand on either dumbbell. I'm gonna have her take her feet a little wider than she usually would for most planks because there's a degree of anti-rotation here. Our renegade rows are incredibly simple ideas. She's gonna keep her left hand on the, plank, on the uh, dumbbell and she's gonna row with her right hand, bringing that dumbbell up and towards her hips and elbow high, come on down. Left arm, come on up. Great, I'm gonna have you go two more per side here while I talk. If we take a look at Janelle's hips, we see there's very little rocking. This is actually okay. We wouldn't want to see any more than that. She is alternating, and the way we would program this, if it says five reps, what we're generally going to mean is five reps per side. Go ahead and rest. With the, with the Renegade rows, you can go heavy, but I don't want you to go so heavy that you're treating it like an old school string pull start lawnmower. You need to be able to stay pretty smooth. And just as importantly, if your hips start to rock and roll, you either need to find more tension through the abs, widen your base, or maybe you just need to go lighter with it so that you can practice being really stable. Those are our renegade rows.